Converting a Snowco rotary farm size grain cleaner into a rapid wood chip sorting machine is the focus of this video. You will see what I did to modify the machine and how it works for sorting wood chips. This is the second grain cleaner that I have had my hands on. In this video I will show you how it differs from the David Manufacturing Model 40 grain cleaner that we modified for wood chip sorting a couple of months ago, that is early in the summer of 2013. Note that the wood chips I need are for my Chinese JXQ10 gasifier. If you need chips of a different size, choose your screens accordingly. These eight pails of chips are the lowest quality roadside chips that I have collected this year from the ditches about a mile from my house. I have made four or five other collections from the same general area, choosing the best chips I could find each time, so each collection got a little worse. What do I mean by the best chips? I mean no dirt, I mean chipped in the late fall or during the winter, no twigs or branches longer than, in my case, one inch, no leaves, no needles if they're conifers, no undersized chips, no oversized chips, no bark. For me, right size chip is a chip that will drop through a one inch by a one half inch screen but not through a one half by one half screen. Sounds like a tall order and it is. But the closer I come to meeting all those criteria as I gather them, the less work I uh, have to do and the less work for the machine, the less stuff I have to drag home and dry, the cleaner the gasifier is to run and the lower the tar output level. With the very best chips I collected this season, I got a 50% yield of keepers after sorting. With the last batch before this one, I got about a one-third yield. So let's see where, uh, what we get from the dregs of the county chipping event today. Here are the eight pails of chips that we're going to sort soon. I hope you can see that there's an awful lot of fine material in here. As I uh, will say later, these are the worst of the roadside chips that I've uh, collected so far this year. So we'll see what the yield turns out to be. The time is 6.31. Eight pails to be sorted. This is the uh, lowest quality material that I have picked up off the roadside. These are the signs, these are the keepers, these are the two big. I have to tilt them very low so this input hopper here doesn't have enough angle to it to automatically feed the chip. It's also very rusty from this use, so I can probably polish it up and get it to sort better. What did I say? It started at 631. Right now. 
See the piles here? This pile is the fines. This pile is the keepers. And in this tub over here are the two bales. This does a really great job of sorting the real fine fines out within the first foot, actually, of the screen. And of course, they're a little coarser as they get toward the center. The screen size changes about here. The second screen, again, this is the keepers. There's plenty of opportunity underneath here to add slides and, and various things, maybe wheelbarrows, to catch this so I don't have to sweep up here. But uh, uh, it works pretty well. The too big stuff, which is here, uh, isn't really, really, really too big. I might sort out the twigs and things and uh, actually try running some of that in my gas fire. It is now 635, so I think we're talking four minutes to sort eight pails of wood chips. Here's a close-up of the pile of fines from the input end and you can see that they're pretty darn fine and as we go just uh, you know uh, 18 inches down the screen you can see that they actually are a little bit coarser and there might be a case for uh, doing something with those but I'm going to consider them too fine for now. The second screen <clears throat> gets the keepers and again this screen is uh, half by one inch and anything that falls through there I consider the keepers. The too big material is this size stuff. At least that's what I'm calling too big for right now. I may try to run some of this in my gasifier after I check it for excessive uh, twig lengths. Uh, and the issue here is I don't want the chip so big that I don't get enough pressure drop across uh, the uh, fuel pile. So there we are. We have uh, four pails of uh, fines, and that's 50%. Two quite full pails of keepers, that's 25%, and 20 to 25% that are uh, the two large chips. So uh, that varies quite a bit from the very best chips that I selected uh, early this spring or late winter actually, where I got a 50% yield of the uh, keeper chips. Okay, um, it's uh, 6.45, we started at 6.31, so including the sweeping up, which I speeded up for you folks, it's a total of 14 minutes to sort the eight pails of chips. Not too bad. Up to this point, we've been simply cleaning up after each sorting session, as you can see. Uh, again, the results here, uh, for, and these are the lowest quality chips that I have sorted uh, so far this season uh, from a 10 inch disc chipper that was chipping whole trees, mostly conifers. Remember that I already did some sorting when I gathered these chips even by avoiding the worst conifer needle piles and the tiny chips. 
So again, we've got four pipe pails of fines that will definitely make it to the garden. And that's the big major advantage of the sorting anyways, to get that small stuff out of there. There's a lot of dust and actually dirt in there and tiny bark particles, none of which we want. Then we have two pails of oversized chips. Uh, hopefully, I've chosen screens uh, so that the oversized chips are the ones that would be bridging in my gasifier. And you as users, if you decide to go this route, you'll have to make your own decision uh, uh, based on your system's chip size needs. And then finally, the keeper pail, two pails of those out of the eight. This is what the sorting is all about. Before uh, using this, uh, getting this uh, powered grain cleaner, I'd spend at least a couple of hours to do what the machine just did in 15 minutes, including the cleanup. Now I'm going to run two pails of keepers. I'm going to rerun two pails of my keeper chips and two pails of my two big chips through a second time to see how effective my current screen set is. I'm now going to run two pails of my keeper chips through for a second time to see how much more classification occurs. To admit I'm a little surprised about half of the uh, two pails ended up in my too big pile and uh, kind of a considerable pile uh, made it through the fines made it to the fines so uh, I'll shut off the camera for a minute and clean up and see how much of each I actually got. Okay, here's the final result of rerunning my keepers. I had two very full pails of keepers that I reran. I got, oh, that's a, a, only about a three or four gallon pail right there, so I got probably a gallon and a half out of ten, let's say, of chips that made it all the way to the too big pile. I'm not sure they're too big. Don't ask me exactly why they didn't make it out on the first time. Maybe I still need higher residence time. Uh, but there, there isn't anything all that too big in there anyway, so I may use them. So I ended up with, it looks like uh, maybe six to seven, of, if you call it ten gallons, <coughs> of uh, keepers left and then looks like let's call it three gallons in a five gallon pail of new quote unquote fines. Now the real fine stuff got sorted out already so I'm not sure that this stuff is all that bad since the real dusty barky tiny tiny stuff already got sorted out. So as I think I mentioned a little earlier uh, a lot of the real worst fines go uh, out in the first half of the half by half inch screen and I'm thinking that what comes out in this screen here uh, is what's now in that pail and uh, it, not all that bad. So anyway that's the result and that's where I am right now. Now we'll go on to sort the, the, the two pails of two big chips that we made previously. 
two pails of two big chips. That's, uh, that's that. Now I'll turn the camera off and I'll clean up and we'll see how we did there. Now here's the result from resorting two pails of the two big chips. We had two pretty full pails. Now we've got, I'd call it about a pail and a third. And we gained, oh, let's call it two gallons in the five gallon pail of uh, keepers and only this small little pile of of new uh, quote unquote fines but they just about all had to come out of the second half of the screen I mean you know out, uh, the, the fines really came out of the first half of the screen, so all that's left was stuff that originally fell out of the second half, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But we didn't gain much there, which is good. Uh, we did save some more keepers. I think what I'm seeing here, and uh, time will tell, but I'm out of wood chips for now, is that uh, as you probably noticed, when I was feeding the wood chips, I could feed them, I was feeding them pretty fast. And I think what's happening is during the tumbling process, if there's too much material in there, uh, then the, the holes are plugged by a bigger thing when a smaller thing goes by and it doesn't get a chance to fall out. So I'll have to try changing the feeding rate and watching it closer and smoothing it out rather than just dumping a whole pail onto that first set of screens. So we'll see in the future whether that makes a difference. But in any event, uh, if nothing else, just getting rid of all those very fine finds in the first run is, I think, hugely important. 95% of all the pine needles and stuff are in this first run. So I feel real good about the whole system. This is my second grain cleaner. I'm no expert on them, but we are learning. I consider this experiment and this setup as a complete success, and it sure beats sorting by hand. We paid $300 for our first machine and put another 100 or so in it for the new screens, uh, belts, uh, a wheel, and so on. I paid $160 for this machine and put another 100 in it also for new screens, wheels, a pulley, etc. We probably have about 20 hours or so in each machine to clean, troubleshoot, repair, and modify. Lastly, we can either make our own wood chips or we can get them from others. For now, I'd rather spend my chipping time getting the chips free, except for transportation, from those that have them. Thank you for watching.